All right, this is Stray running at 4K on a GTX 1060 at kind of 60 FPS, and well, it's actually only kind of 4K. Now, you might hear my girls in the background. They love this cat game, so they wanted to hang out while I make this video today. Girls, do you want to say hi? <laughs> anyway, um, so... Uh, Anyway, we're testing this out. I know 4K is unrealistic resolution uh, to be running a GTX 1060, but I wanted to show off how well you can get this game to run with just a few compromises. Now, it's not really a locked 60 FPS. It's also not really 4K, and I did turn some things down. If we look at the graphics settings here, um, this is running at a 60% resolution scale, but the resolution scaler in this game looks quite good, and this is gonna be one of the best places to get back some of your performance if you are running on a um, lower end graphics card. The resolution scaling makes a very large performance difference. Now, there's only a few graphic settings here, but the biggest one for affecting performance is the effects quality. And I had it turned down to low uh, for this testing. Now, if we go back up to high and I go all the way back up uh, you know, well, let's leave the resolution scale at 60%, but if I just do the effects quality at high, you can see that we're now down into the low 40 FPS range. So that effects quality has a massive performance impact. Now we can also change the resolution scaling back up to 100%, so this is actually max settings at 4K, and you can see that we're more like in the 20 FPS range. Are you okay, Adelise? Yeah? Okay, <laughs> sorry, my daughter's making some noises in the background here. She does like the cat game, but I think she likes playing it, not seeing me test it out here. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's try out 1080p at maximum settings, which is much more of a realistic um, setting at which to, to play this game. In other words, a GTX 1060 is really going to be a 1080p GPU. Now you can see there's only these four settings to change. Effects quality, shadow quality, texture quality, and mesh quality. Right now we've all got them maxed out. High is the maximum setting. And you can see that at 1080p maximum settings, um, the GTX 1060 has no trouble staying above 60 FPS other than the occasional a little uh, frame rate dip that happens, uh, primarily as an Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine issue, a lot of Unreal Engine games have little frame stutters as it loads in assets that you haven't seen before. Now, I'm not getting a lot of them here because I've already ran around this city uh, while I was testing all the settings and performance off camera. Um, so that's why we're not seeing that. And I've also selected this little perch in the window here because it's one of the more demanding areas, uh, at least so far. I haven't actually beat this game yet. Girls, should we play this game after I'm done with my video? Yeah. Yes? Okay. All right. So we'll keep playing. But <laughs> anyway, let's um, look at the performance impact of each graphic setting so you can see it. By going effects high down to medium, you can see that we've gone from about 68 FPS up into the mid 80 FPS range. So this effects quality, just dropping from high down to medium, is one of the largest performance impacts that we can get uh, out of any of the ones in this game. So if you're on a GPU that can't handle, uh, you know, the, the performance, the performance that you're uh, looking at here, um, then uh, you might want to change effects quality as your first thing. Now going down to low gets us more performance, but it's not much, at least in this scene, compared to just going down to medium. So the biggest change seems to be going from high down to medium on the effects quality. Now, we'll go ahead and turn all the settings back up to baseline our performance here again. So it looks like we're at 68 FPS uh, in this scene. So now let's go down and change some of the other settings to emphasize that they don't have a large performance impact. Shadows going down to low really didn't change our performance here, at least in this scene. Now I've changed uh, I mean, I've tested other scenes. This is the one I chose to demonstrate for this video because it's particularly demanding. Um, but even in other scenes I tested, the shadow quality didn't seem to have a large impact. Now, texture quality also does not seem to have a large impact on performance. Um, it, it does have a visual impact. Now, I think if your card was low on VRAM, this game doesn't use a lot of VRAM, but if you're on a really old GPU without much VRAM, the um, texture quality might be something that would actually help you because it would get you within your card's VRAM budget. Now we can see the textures redrawing here in the distance. You can actually see some of that change as we go here. Um, but again, on a GPU that has enough VRAM, the texture quality doesn't seem to have much impact on performance. 
And um, by going mesh quality all the way down to low, we also only see, what was that, like a three FPS difference going from about 68 to 71. So the mesh quality also doesn't seem to have a lot of uh, performance impact. I would love to see more graphic settings exposed um, because right now it really seems like effects quality is almost the only one that seems to do much. Now you can change the motion blur um, and it doesn't seem to have a large performance impact, maybe one or two FPS going from high all the way down to low. Uh, the game seemed to default with it all the way up. So generally I test things with kind of the default settings. I know some of you will hate motion blur and be mad that I have it on at all in the video, but hey, uh, you know, personal preference thing. I actually think at low FPS, uh, low performance, um, motion blur can help the experience feel smoother. But let's go up to 1440p because the uh, GTX 1060 here actually does well at 1440p, although not at maximum settings. You see that at maximum settings here, uh, we're in the low 40 FPS range in this demanding scene. So what could we do to claw back that performance? Well, I think there's two main options, which is the resolution scaler and that, um, as we've already seen, the effects quality. So if we turn the effects quality down from high to medium, you'll actually see that this gets us to around 60 FPS in this demanding window scene overlooking the city. And as, I, as we're actually running around here, we're gonna be definitely averaging, I think, above 60 FPS um, with the occasional dip. So I really think that this is gonna be um, the way that most people will go if you're wanting to run a GTX 1060 at 1440p here, just drop that effects quality down to medium. And again, this could also apply to other GPUs as well. Um, but if we turn the effects quality back up to high, the other way we could go here is that resolution scaler, which I think does look quite good in this game, although it's not perfect. Um, if we go down to an 80% resolution scale, I noticed that that was enough to get the GTX 1060 to around that magic 60 FPS mark again. Uh, so now which of these looks better to you is gonna depend on personal preference. Um, the resolution scale, some people seem to notice the little bit of fuzzing that we get to it uh, more than other people do. It can also depend on your screen size. On a smaller screen, the um, resolution scaling tends to be less noticeable than on a larger screen, even at the same resolution. Uh, so, you know, th that could be another thing. So which one is preferable to you really depends on your, like I said, personal preference. Um, and if you're not on a GTX 1060, uh, basically what should you take away from this video? Well, overall, for one thing, the system requirements on this game are pretty low. Um, you can run it uh, very well on uh, lower end hardware. And um, the biggest places that you would want to turn down on your um, graphic settings are definitely the resolution scaling and the effects quality, uh, and probably leave the other settings up, like I said, unless you're uh, having a VRAM budget issue. Now, overall, I'm just really happy um, with the performance of this game, other than, like I said, the Unreal Engine um, little uh, stuttering issues that we get in a lot of games. So I would love to see future patches deal with that. I would also like to see more graphic settings exposed, or possibly, maybe there's more than one thing happening with that effects quality, and maybe those could be exposed separately uh, to give some, you know, finer tuning av available for more graphics cards. But I'm just really happy uh, that uh, an indie game like this exists. My, Like I said, my kids absolutely love playing this with me. And overall, um, uh, I think I'm gonna get back to playing it. So let me uh, publish this video and uh, me and the kids are gonna try to beat this game. <laughs> Have an excellent day.